Are you tired of guessing what customers want? Do you want to gain valuable insights into their needs and preference? In this video, I will show you how to conduct customer feedback interviews to improve your product and service and grow your business. Hello innovators, entrepreneurs, and change makers. Welcome to Product Success Academy. My name is Tony Chan. I am certified in product marketing with a decade of experience helping your business grow with modern marketing strategies. Boost your knowledge further by hitting that subscribe button and let's grow our community together. We've been focusing on different aspects of business development and today we're diving into the crucial subject, customer feedback interviews. Without feedback, it's like driving a car blindfolded. You must find out where you're going or how to get there. Let's explore how we can use this to improve our business. First things first, what is a customer feedback interview? It's a personal and direct way of understanding your customer's experience, their needs, and the problems that they might be facing with your product or service. These interviews can help you uncover invaluable insights that surveys and questionnaires often miss, like context, emotions, and deep-seated beliefs. They provide a wealth of qualitative data to guide your strategic decisions. Gathering feedback isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. For some, it's a daily ritual. For others, weekly or bi-weekly. The more feedback you have, the better. Sounds promising. But how can we effectively conduct these interviews and what do we do with all the information we collect? So let's dive in. First, identify customers who have consistently used your product or service. Reach out to them, explain your motives, and schedule the interview. The right conversation allows you to dig deeper into your customer responses, whether over the phone or in person, facial expressions, tone of voice, reactions, etc. It might feel uncomfortable, but don't avoid questions that lead to negative feedback. This isn't about validation, it's growth. Every feedback is a stepping stone towards improvement. The good, the ugly, we want to be respectful of their time and keep the conversation focused. Ask questions based on your product, your customer, and the context. It's about making the feedback process as tailored and productive as possible. Remember, it is crucial to create an open, non-judgmental space where customers feel comfortable sharing their honest thoughts. When it comes to the interview, don't just ask what's wrong. Ask about what's right, what they like, and what's keeping them returning. Then explore areas for improvement. Use open-ended questions because it encourages your customer to give detailed answers and enables you to dig deeper into their experiences. Here are 10 great questions to ask and the reasons why we ask them. First, can you describe your overall experience with our product or service? This question allows you to understand the customer's journey from their perspective. What problem did it solve for you? This helps you understand the customer's needs and how well you were able to meet those needs. What do you like most about it? This identifies the aspects of your product or service that resonates with the customer which can guide your marketing and development efforts. What do you like least about it? This reveals potential problem areas or pain points that needs addressing from the internal team. Is there anything about our product or service that needs to be explained or used? This question helps identify any usability issues or areas of confusion. If you could change one thing, what would it be? This can uncover hidden opportunities for innovation or improvement. Have you used anything similar? If so, how does it compare? This gives you insights into your competitive position and how customers perceive you. What feature or aspects do you find most valuable? This helps identify what makes you stand out and what features are most valuable to the customer. Would you recommend us to others? Why or why not? This question measures customer satisfaction and loyalty, known as the Net Promoter Score, NPS. How can we improve our communication or customer service to meet your needs better? This question gives you actionable insights into how your customer service and communication strategies can be improved. Those are some of the questions you can ask. If you found this content valuable so far, tap a like button to help others discover this video and comment below with your thoughts to spark a conversation so we can learn from each other. Once you gather your feedback, it's time to analyze. Look for patterns, recurring themes, or a shared concern. These are your areas of focus. Use the data to strategize your next step. Consider how you can adjust your product or service based on this feedback. Remember, feedback isn't just about finding faults. It's about understanding and enhancing your user's experience fostering customer loyalty and driving growth for your business. Companies big and small have seen tremendous growth and success by implementing changes based on customer feedback. Let's talk about a simple email template to get customers to agree to give you an interview. Subject line, your feedback can make a difference. Dear John, as a valued user of our marketing services, your opinion matters to us. We'd love to invite you to a brief 20 minute feedback interview to improve your experience with us. By sharing your insights, you help shape the future of our product and services and ensure we're meeting your needs effectively. Thank you for being a valued part of our journey. Let us know a suitable time for this interview if you're available. Best, Tony. This email expresses gratitude and is to the point. They are already a customer, so there isn't a need to go in depth. 
Real quick, if you find this video helpful, please share it to empower others with this valuable knowledge. Now, sometimes you can offer incentive to get customers to do an interview, and it's another way of showing appreciation for your customer's time and effort. First, there are discounts and coupons. Offering discounts on future purchases or a coupon for a free add-on service can be an effective motivator. It's a win-win situation. You get feedback and the customer get a great deal. Next, consider product trials. If you're launching a new product or future, granting exclusive access to your feedback participants can be a strong incentive, letting them feel valued and in the know. Another option is loyalty points. If you have a loyalty program, offering extra points for feedback can boost customer participation and foster long-term engagement. Another one is giveaways and contests. Turn your feedback collection into a contest where customers can win something. It's engaging and fun. Remember, the goal isn't just to collect feedback, it's to foster a relationship where customers feel their voice are heard and valued. I want to end this video by creating a culture of customer-centric growth. The customer guides every decision, strategy, and actions, and they will become your brand advocates. First, encourage open communication. Allow and encourage your customers to voice their thoughts, opinions, and concerns. The easier they can share their feedback, the more insights you're gathering. Second, prioritize customer needs in decision making. When making strategic decision, always ask, how does this impact our customers? If it doesn't align with your needs or interests, rethink your strategy. Third, foster a customer-centric mindset across all departments. From product development to marketing to customer service, every department should understand and prioritize the needs and expectations of the customer. Fourth, regularly measure customer satisfaction. Use tools like the Net Promoter Score or Customer Satisfaction Survey to gauge customer happiness regularly. Monitor these metrics and set goals to improve them. And finally, act on customer feedback. Collecting feedback is great, but the real value comes from implementing changes based on that feedback. Show your customers that their voices are heard and valued. In the end, your customers are the lifeblood of your business. Listen to them, learn from them, and improve with them. It requires consistent effort and alignment across all facets of your organization. We went from understanding a customer feedback interview to learning how to effectively conduct one and use the gather feedback for strategic decisions. You now have a clear roadmap. Thanks for making it this far. My name is Tony from Product Success Academy, helping your business grow with modern marketing strategies. If you enjoyed this video, check out this other one. It's sure to provide more insights and tips. I'll see you there.